Well, I have Peter Grar with me now, and uh, he's from, well, he's going to be talking about anti-aging, whatever anti-aging means. You're going to tell us what it is, right? Well, there are a couple forms of aging. One is a natural process that's built into our genes. But most of the aging that people undergo today is premature aging, and it's a result of less than optimal or flat-out bad lifestyle decisions. And lifestyle decisions, poor, is poor eating probably and smoking and things and, that really and, aren't good for you. Chronic stress, not getting enough sleep. Uh, the biggest thing probably is inactivity or the wrong kind of activity because your body is designed to adapt to the demands you put on it. That's how people survive. When you train it to do something, unless you're training it to do other things too, it becomes an expert. So when you sit for long periods of time, you're training your body to sit. Efficiently. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, more or less. Um, but you're also detraining muscles. Yeah. Uh, your body was designed for movement. It was designed to move in lots of different ways but that's really not what the modern lifestyle is. No. So when you're sitting, I'll run through some of the bad things yeah, that, that happen. Yeah, that would be, okay. Um, knee problems. Okay. Okay? Your quads are taxed with straightening your leg out. Mm -hmm. You're sitting with your leg bent. So you're putting tension in this part of your hamstring. So I shouldn't sit this way. Well, you shouldn't sit that way for long periods of okay. time. Okay. <laughs> but you're holding the quads long. Okay. And when you hold muscles long, they think that's their job. Then you want them to get short, which is their strength movement. They say, gee, sorry, Ann. Yeah. We don't do that anymore. I know, no. Okay? You're putting tension in your hip flexors. Okay? The hip flexors are muscles that pull your leg up. At the same time, you're weakening your glutes and your upper hamstrings, which have the job of pulling your leg back. So every muscle, you've got two actions. Exactly. And you've got to be able to... Right. Muscles are set up in pairs. Mm -hmm. You have a muscle group and then it's antagonist muscle group. So if you're only training one muscle group, you're detraining the other muscle group. I love that word, detraining. And that's crucial for two big reasons. The first is that when you have detrained those muscles, they are weak and they can't do their job properly. Mm -hmm. The second reason is that a lot of issues are caused by these muscle imbalances in the joints. Because if you have a strong muscle and a weak muscle, the strong muscle is going to win. It's going to pull the bone that way. The joint will distort. Now you have misalignment. So you're, you're saying that people that have knee problems, I know that we've talked to people that are runners, and well, we just talked with runners, but sometimes they say that that, that kind of that jarring on their knees hurt them. Now, is that, or is that good for them? Um, well, running with proper biomechanics is pretty good. Okay, good. But running is a violent sport, okay? Every time you land, you're essentially putting, uh, depending on how fast you're running, let's just say maybe two to three times your body weight, okay, mm -hmm. on that leg and so on, in the hip, that side of your body. So if your mechanics are good, what you're doing actually is being as efficient as possible, which means you're wasting as little energy as possible. And that wasting energy is what causes the runners the problem. Oh, oh I see. Okay? Okay. What they do typically is they plant in front of their hips. So they're slowing down when you do that, and that jars all the way up. Okay. Um, and I know you brought some pictures. Let's take a run through those pictures and see what okay. we're looking at here. Well, here's the first picture. This is why probably everybody should care about this. Uh, that picture was taken uh, just after the Beijing Olympics. Dara was 41 years old. That's Dara Torres. Oh, I've heard about her, yep. yeah. She broke the American record in one of her races at 41. Uh, she calls this system, the resistance stretching system I use, Kihara, her secret weapon. Uh, she had to totally revamp her training program as she got older because she couldn't do the volume that she was doing before. Uh, okay. I got the picture because her personal flexibility trainers are the ones who trained me. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, this is one of the stretches that I taught to the Albany uh, Legends basketball game, or basketball team. Uh, the cool thing about this system is I can adjust all these stretches for your fitness level. This is an advanced version. Even these young studs who were like in their early 20s, Can't do it. were pretty, well, yeah. they were impressed. <laughs> okay. They could see that something was happening. But you can see also, if we see the next picture, 
that you can do a version at home. at home and you don't have to be a basketball player to be able to do this. The cool thing about resistance stretching is that it automatically adjusts to your fitness level. If you are, well, I'll show you a stretch. I'll do a sitting one. This is a good one for um, anyone who sits for okay, long periods good. of time. I'm going to stretch primarily the muscles in my back right up in here. I'm going to start with my arm here. I'm going to resist and exhale as I pull it across to my opposite shoulder. Is that what they call an isometric? No. No? It's, this is an eccentric contraction, okay. and I'll get into that. And if you do this, you'll find out that your core muscles have to work. You're feeling it there. Because when one side of your body works against the other or your arms work against your legs, your core muscles have to activate. Their primary job is stability. So I don't do any um, sit-ups or planks or any of that. But if you see the next picture. OK, we're almost out of time. Okay. So we'll look real quickly at this. I don't know. Maybe he already well, showed it. Yeah, he, he probably already showed uh, it. Yeah. Well, it was a picture of me when I was 61, not too long ago. I have a pretty ripped core. Yeah. Um, so this system uses 16 different stretches. There it is. All there it major, is right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, targets all the major muscle groups. We it, didn't want him to get naked here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it allows you to actually diagnose where your issues are, and then you can while you're dismantling them, get in awesome shape. Well, we've been talking with Peter Gar, and you've taught me a lot just listening to you here, and I'm sure that if they go to your website at humanhighperformance.com, yep. they'll find out more about what you do and, and um, get younger, maybe, or yeah, stop well, the aging process. Yep, they have a choice. Yep, good. We all do. We all do. Let's do it, right?